keep the boat moving and hope Michael gets the lot ready in time. I certainly will. Ah! <laughs> well, this has turned into a challenging day. I wasn't expecting this. Would you like your surprise? Close my eyes and old man's out. I think you should, yeah, definitely. Morning. Welcome back. Not peaceful little mooring. Very windy as you can see. So we're just going to cruise the last, oh, what, half a mile uh, from the end of the Macclesfield onto the Trent and Mersey this morning and we're going north. We're just passing the boat we came through the locks with both ways actually. That, that's where we're going. That's onto the Trent and Mersey there. Caught behind the Venetian blinds Had to reach for the city lines And this ain't where I belong Bye bye Mackie It's a long time since we've been here Two years So, the Trent and Mercy has got double locks on them So you've got two locks side by side And uh, we're going to go down in this one and there's a boat just coming up in the other one on the other side so shopping done um just setting off through the locks in kids grove and uh, i've just uh, said hello to uh, one of our lovely subscribers claire who's heading towards the her castle tunnel um, i'm going to get your boat blacked hope everything goes okay and lovely to meet you i've been running east looking for something Quick pit stop at Kids Grove um, Sanitary Station. Just going to do some water, toilets, brown tasks for Michael York, and empty the bins. Nice facility. Rubbish and recycling. Loads of plastic and cardboard and things. The problem is on the cut that often there is no recycling. It's just one bin for everything, and it breaks your heart to put everything um, in the same bin. You never know. There might be some recycling there. So I spoke too soon. There's me saying there's no recycling. There generally isn't, but here there is. Whoop whoop. Yeah, recycling. Look, this is um, reasonably unusual. Uh, you see it occasionally, but not very much. Glass there and the general rubbish here and then a uh, clean items only recycling so yeah good so i'm going to sort all our rubbish now and uh, that'll make us feel better because um we've recycled so excellent well done carl rivers trust this is on the trent and mersey um just at the beginning after the first two locks um so yeah good good news so there's double locks on this stretch of the trent and mersey one there, on the far side, one here, on this side. And um, here comes the Intrepid Explorer, otherwise known as Jack. And um, one of the paddles is out of action there. When they put the red and white tape around it, it means don't use it. Expertly done. Change of duties, just had a quick coffee, sat in the lock, and then I'm doing the lock now. All along. Well, the reason he'd abandoned me because this lock literally it's a really short pound straight into the next lock so he's gone to fill that lock and get it ready for me so I can just go straight in incredibly short pound that yeah you always need really good teamwork between the two of us to communicate use the walkie-talkies which we sent and then just keep looking 
keep your eyes looking and seeing what's happened. Lock gate's open, so I'm going to go straight in and then Michael will come back and sort this lock out. Good teamwork. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm just hovering here in the uh, lee of this uh, bridge arch and in the exit to the lock until Michael sorts the next lock out. Just because just the wind's just blowing the boat all over the place. We need to keep the boat forward and hope nobody, uh, nobody comes. They'll see me if they do. <laughs> you can't exactly miss a 57 foot narrow boat, can you? <laughs> yeah, we've made the right decision to hide here apparently. The locals just came past and he said this next stretch is notoriously windy. He said it's the windiest ever, so he said you're doing exactly the right thing to hide here. You can start off now. This one's a port uh, lock. Starboard one's out of action. Right, okay, alright, I'm on my way. Right, let's see what this is like. I'm out. You can see where I was hiding. It's definitely windy. Let's just keep the boat moving and hope Michael gets the lock ready in time. I certainly will. <laughs> so, I made it into that lock. It, it was a little hairy at times yeah really really hence my no video <laughs> michael swapped over and he's going to come down in uh, in this lock um and then there's another boat coming out of the lock in front of us so we're going to go straight in which works absolutely perfectly so windy she really struggled to get off the side there well this has turned into a challenging day i wasn't expecting this really windy um, yeah, and we're getting blown all over the place. Michael has just come into that last lock and you saw him crossing in the pound with another boat and she got completely blown onto the side as she came out of the lock and she put full throttle on and she still wasn't getting off the side and yeah, which pushed Michael all the way over and uh, he really struggled to get around her. Anyway, he's made it. So Michael's in there, he's just going to come out of the left hand lock and uh, I'm just getting the next lock ready for him and uh, we'll bring him straight into here. It's a bit windy today, I can't believe it. Really, really windy. Don't know how we're missing not getting really, really wet. It's like we're on the sea. Look at the waves on the canal. Oh, choppy. He's done really well there. You could just see the boat. You can just see the boat being taken completely sideways with the wind. Yeah, it's a right juggling act to get that in there. The wind got you there. It did, you're right. Well, well done though. So he's going to emerge from there in a second. There he is. He's going to absolutely get pushed onto the wall on the right hand side where he is now, which is just as well. Yeah, he's just going to go all the way down the wall. The wind is so strong. He's in. I do like it when the skipper closes his own lock gates. clear there's nothing coming uh, but stay away from the uh, starboard side of the bend uh, right on the apex because there's a great big branch hanging out I've just got a thumbs up as an acknowledgement there yeah I think you'd be all right with that but better safe than sorry that's a tricky bridge it goes from a square one to an arched one there is notification to warn you captain's aware of it and you can see there look how many people have caught the boat on that side of the bridge. Massive chunk out of it. So that's the lock that we're in. You can see on this section there were obviously two locks. Uh, and this is the other one that's now um, completely disused obviously. You can see the lock gates all chained up there. And you can see into the lock chamber, it's a sad sight. Think of the boats that have gone through here over the years, the work boats, etc. 
that's not been used for a long time. You see the cross members there, I think they've put some bars in there to stop it collapsing inwards. And there's us just through the trees disappearing down. Jack's just gone down. And ahead of us, you can see the same again. There she goes down in the lock. And here's the other one I was telling you about. This is the next one in the line. And this is a disused one as well. I'm wondering that was last used. It's well overgrown, isn't it? Jeepers. Days gone by, eh? Would you like your surprise? Yeah, if it is a surprise, yeah. I think it'll be a I surprise. I'm to close my eyes and old man's out. I think you should, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Very delicately put. Oh! Portu a, Portuguese pastry. <laughs> pastel de nata. Did you get it right, viewers? Did you guess it was a pastel de nata? It wasn't too difficult, was it? Thanks very much. Cheers. We moored in Road Heath last night. Nice, quiet little mooring. Quite a few boats here. Everybody was getting out of the wind and mooring as quickly as they could yesterday. It was so windy. It's gusty today, but it's not as bad at the moment. So Michael's just gone out to the first lock. We're going to do a couple of miles with four locks, and I think we're going to Hassel Green today. Michael's got an audience. on this lock, lock 54, just saying if you're over 6 foot 10 wide, which we're not, um, you need to use the uh, starboard chamber. Uh, we're absolutely fine, but we will make certain any fenders we've got down or up. You can see how windy it is with that willow tree. But I think it's blowing any storm clouds through, which is good. Can't get in this lock because the wind keeps pushing the boat back onto this side. Fortunately, we're not trying to get into the starboard lock, we're trying to get into the port lock. So we're just going to have to guide the boat in by hand, I think. We keep getting these huge gusts of wind that just come and blow the boat. Well, that was challenging getting in there, really challenging. Gosh, we hadn't got far to go either. <laughs> hmm. That was interesting. Going through the beautiful east. Cheshire countryside now. Things, and never did I give in. Just cause the thought of being vulnerable made me feel less than I am. Got Captain bringing the boat in on a windy day. Nicely does it, all safe and sound. Just going to uh, get the next lock open so we can come straight in. We haven't got to worry about the wind and holding up. It's a busy towpath today. Lots of walkers and runners. People enjoying their time in the countryside, which is great. Fresh air and outdoors does everybody good, mentally and physically, which as you know, we're both big advocates of. Right, let's go and let him out. He's out and he's going straight in, like a, like threading a needle. Perfect. So he's just coming into more. I've no idea which way the wind's blowing. It just seems to be big gusts at the moment. Hoping it's not going to blow us off the armco. As long as I get a rope, we'll be fine. noise you can hear is the M6 motorway. I'm not certain we're going to have a very peaceful evening. Morning everybody. Um, yeah, that's rain. Absolutely throwing it down. Yeah, not great. My, I've had a late get up. Uh, Michael's just in the shower. If you can hear that noise, it's the, it's the uh, water pump. I've come outside between rain clouds. Um, 
yeah it's um, been a bit of a wet morning I'm just about to set off Michael said to me what's the forecast so I said well hmm, it's raining and he said that's it <laughs> wet weather gears going on so we've got 10 locks to do today um, two then six in a row and then two and then we're mooring in somewhere called wheel lock that noise you can hear is the m6 it's been continual you don't realize just how much noise of continual traffic uh, could get on your nerves <laughs> let's take us back to the quiet of the countryside somewhere please let's get on with the day yeah then we can get everything dry because i think we're going to get wet it is me hiding in here first lock of the day i'm in here there i am <laughs> yeah foul is on I've, I've got shorts on i'm optimistic i'm just walking down to the next lock that is the m6 that was what we were hearing last night how noisy someone is not happy at all look at that face it stopped raining for a bit we've got absolutely drowned we're meeting some really lovely chatty people today um, everybody's in fine spirits despite the weather I'm not looking the, uh, the best today. Um, yeah, it's not good. Wet weather gear and air tied back is uh, not the most glamorous of looks, but never mind. We're, um, we're doing really well in the locks. I think this is the third in the, in the flight of six. But, uh, so we've got another three, then a little gap, and then another two. You feel less than I am. I have never felt Till you entered my door And from that moment I knew that a home is whatever you choose ah. Okay It was a very rainy day that we've done 10 locks, 2 miles in the pouring rain and it's now only about 1.30 but it's time for lunch and that's it for that was, today. That was absolutely torrential at, at, in was, places. Yeah. I'm not certain I'm looking my best. No, it was horrendous. <laughs> that was just, anyway, hang on. the inglorious side to um, to boating, boating yeah. to boat life. Hey ho, lunch and uh, settle down for the day I think. Yeah, perfect. How a day changes. Can you believe this is the same day as earlier? We absolutely threw it down. We got drowned. We are still drying our clothes out. Look at this. Oh, and that's an impressive tree. Look at that sun glistening. Evening sun. Morning. Quick pit stop at uh, Wheel Lock Services. Um, all the jobs needed doing. Round job done. And uh, we're off, and the sun's shining completely and utterly different to yesterday. We got drowned, and we're heading up towards the Middlewich branch with the uh, Trent and Mersey. Um, we're not going to go on the branch, we don't think. We're going to moor somewhere around Middlewich. A couple of years since we've been there, about 10 miles and about, I think about four lock, three or four hours for us. Nice cruise. Michael's walking. At least we've got one side of the boat clean. It's a twisty turny section this. There's a boat coming towards us with an L plate. Newbies. Just under our first lock of the day. I've um, just been chatting with a lovely boater in the lock who, who was saying he volunteers on the Huddersfield Narrow Canal. Um, and he was at the summit last week doing some volunteering. 
and one of the, the locks there developed a problem so he reported it and so apparently the Huddersfield Narrow Canal is now closed as well so that's going to be the Mac Macclesfield closed, Leeds Liverpool's closed and the Huddersfield Narrow so uh, yeah nobody's going east to west or west to east on the canal network at the moment at all yeah such is life we keep coming across these beautiful crocheted um, little flowers on each of the lock gates. I need to Google it and find out who's done it. And I think they're, well, I think we've seen them for quite a while and I've just really, I've just clocked them now. They're beautiful, so pretty. That's the second one I've seen today. sitting right hand near the windlass. We do this a lot as we're walking along the canal. Um, we like to pick rubbish up. Um, yeah, she's waving it at you now because it's a mess and it just blows in the canal. If it's plastic, that's it. It's just going to stay there for years and years and years. So, yeah, as we're walking along, we pick it up. That was a good idea. There's always a bin about. For some reason, people don't put things in bins. So, we do. You can see there the number of boats that have taken huge great big chunks out of that bridge. I've just radioed Michael to let him know that the profile of the bridge changes but should be all right. Goes from curved. It's quite low to square which is probably the better way for it to go actually and if you look the other way there's even bigger chunks being taken out of that side because people haven't realised it's gone like that. Wow. Here he comes. Yeah, I'm having to duck to get through it. It's really low. I collected even more rubbish than when Michael last saw me. Yeah, still there's loads on that section. I think it's because it's near a pretty main road. Anyway, I've picked it all up. So we're just arriving at King's Lock on the Trenton Mersey, which is at the junction of the Middlewich branch. Michael suggested fish and chips. Well, you know, he suggested chips to go with the freshly baked baguette that I've just done. We can have a chip butty. I've not had a chip butty in years. It sounds absolutely delicious. We've got to get fuel first, so let's see if we've got time. I'm game for that, I think, definitely. That wasn't the most salubrious lunch stop. Moored against another boat at um, Marina, ready to fill up with fuel. Yeah, we're just fuel. The, the aroma of fuel was mixing in with my um, ham sandwich. My ham and my crudite. I find red diesel and ham sandwiches a bit of a heady mix. Yuck. I prefer mustard, but. Uh, <laughs> anyway. So we've got it refueled. Yeah. Um, but we were rafted against two boats, which was quite tricky because whenever that, and we were right by the lock, so whenever anybody emptied the lock. Um, we were all over the place. We went like so that. It was, it was nearly ham sandwich, mustard, red diesel and um, canal water. And there was an engineer there um, um, polishing the uh, fuel on the boat next to us. So at one point he was hanging on for dear, dear life as well. What polishing fuel, it sounds a bit odd, but that's um, there's a thing uh, that happens to um, boats, narrow boats, uh, I guess it happens to some other boats as well, but certainly I know it happens to narrow boats. It's called diesel bug, and that's when um, a bug gets into the contamination, gets into the fuel, and it clogs it up. It goes almost like a tarry substance, and you pull it into your filters, it just stops the engine. It's a right mess. Um, and so the only way to do to deal with that is to have all your fuel taken out of the boat and have the tank polished, um, or the fuel polished and then start again, change yeah. all the filters and that's what he was doing. He said it was so bad the boat he was doing. He said it was coming out in lumps. Yeah, it's getting like lumps of diesel bug out, yuck. It should yeah. be just black, solid You black can see, when you see, we've got a pre-fuel filter and a filter on our fuel system and you can see um, that you would need both of those. And yeah. our filters are always clean, 
So we know that. Um, and that's one of the reasons why you change them. Change them on a regular yeah. basis. I think if you're changing your filters often, I also put an additive in our fuel which uh, kills diesel bug. How well that works, I don't know, but certainly um, we keep it all nice and clean and it's never a problem when I change the filters, but I change them on a very regular basis. More often than they need changing, really. But anyway, it's lock time. Lock and there's a locky. Is there? Yeah, there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good. Excellent. So we're just going to go through the three locks in the centre of the middle, which um, just waiting for a boat to come up in the lock here. Captain's taking a layer off, can you believe it? What a rare event. It's a bit like a full moon that happens once a well happens once a blue moon. <laughs> right, so Michael's coming out. They're just starting to come out now, sweet. So you just take your normal line round the corner and they'll come on this on the towpath side. And so is the other boat, I think we'll be alright. And then we're going to cross about here. Yeah, you can bring your bow my way if you want. There we are, that's how it's done. Perfect. Oh, it's hilarious. Did you miss it? <laughs> right, thank you. <laughs> that wasn't embarrassing. Guess what I forgot? I left it up by the lock. Oh dear, that's a complete schoolgirl error. I'm going to get no brownie points for that. Meanwhile, it's happened. They've crossed and he's in. Morning. We're off. We're leaving Middlewich. We're heading closer towards the uh, Anderson boat lift today. I think we'll probably make it up there. And uh, yeah, then we'll uh, give you an update on what's happening with um, the potential of us getting across the Pennines, across the Leeds Liverpool. Um, I'll have another look later. It's not looking good at the moment. Sinkholes, damaged locks. Um, yeah, just to name but a few. We'll make some decisions on where we're going to head, which could change. It could change tomorrow, could change the day after as well. It's definitely been constantly changing. This has been my morning coffee stop for the last couple of mornings. Really nice. Great little cafe, fab cakes. And you'll notice this is a double lock. Michael will explain why it's a double lock later, I hope. He was doing a bit of research when he walked over the aqueduct uh, yesterday. We're at Big Lock in Middlewich. As the lock's emptying, she's, as we say in England, filling her boots. <laughs> we get plenty of them, we love the um, wild blackberries, they're really nice, so yeah, should be good. She just needs a ladder to get to the um, rich pickings at the top. She's really struggling with the lock gate here. It's a big lock, that King's Lock. Um, in fact, it's called the Big Lock strange because it's a double lock on a single lock network um, but there's an aqueduct ahead and that was wider to take wider boats which is why the big lock is there but they've since narrowed the aqueduct a couple of times and now making this uh, plus making the um, wide lock um, ineffective really but it's still there so people do use it as a double lock get two boats in it so it saves a bit of water I guess all good
Take evasive action! <laughs> Hi! Just behave yourself in Manchester tonight. We've just passed Narrowboat Kingfisher. Hello! <laughs> we were having a lovely chat with them on the towpath in Middlewich yesterday. I'm just about to go and put some mozzie spray on because I'm getting bitten to death by horse flies. You've already been bitten, haven't you? Yeah, a bit of a sketchy day today. It's nice and sunny and now it's raining, so who yep. knows? And yep. the horse flies are about. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, I think it's the humid weather. Yeah. Mm, anyway, right, I'm going to find the mozzie spray. Talk about the good, the bad and the ugly. This is the different side to um, the bucolic uh, atmosphere and settings of canals. A steaming, gurgling mess. Been through here before, it's never the prettiest section, but hey ho. Where are we, our kid? Northwich. Well, those are the, yeah, Northwich, basically. Yeah, it's just, just outside Northwich, um, all these factories. There's a lot of salt um, factories around here because that's historically what was um, produced in this area. Whether these are still doing that, I don't know, but uh, strange, you can hear the birds singing and then you've got this. Coming through, towing another boat, another commercial boat, Butty. Oh no, the two boats together. I can see two ladies at the helm, right next to a boatyard. Look at that bridge, isn't that gorgeous? What a pretty bridge. Oh no, they are towing. boats aren't they? That was a bit of a, a traffic jam all of a sudden. Well done Captain. Yeah really tight spot this. I remember it from last time actually. It's one of those like we came in and out of the water on at, um, at Debdale. This is a complete obstacle course for the captain. Yeah, moored boats, double moored boats on this, on the towpath side. Boats in the marina on the starboard side. Into a bridge, blind bend. <laughs> anything else, should I, can I throw anything else at you? Yeah, people sat outside a pub watching what we're doing. Oh yeah, and gone goozlers. And he's not even had his lunch yet, I'm still making it. Yeah, look. And of course this is the exact point where you meet something coming in the other way, isn't it? Tricky! I think we're clear. Nice little spot there for a, a cheeky pint. It's through. We are. We are lost, you're right. We're not, 
I had to bend down right at the last minute so they realised I was about to be knocked out. Can I have some lunch now? I'll go and make you some lunch. Thank you. You deserve it after that. Good. Yeah, I get them on. Well, we've got four visitors. I suppose we better pull in and let them on, haven't we? Yeah? Ahoy! Ship ahoy! Right, we've got crew members. Ah, oh, yes. Hello. So, you've got to do some work. You can't just come on board and expect to have a free ride. Ah. Oh. Uh, what, what the work needs doing. Yeah. <laughs> well, doesn't... Yeah. The boat needs cleaning. Just before we got here, obviously, uh, oh, yeah. it would be a good idea to go swimming in the canal. So it's a little bit wet. Oh, yuck. Sorry. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say I'll push you off, but... Oh, yeah. We, we seem to have naturally yourself. wandered. Oh, is it natural? departure. We've got to get some water. Water's up the bridge 197. Yes, on the, on the, uh, on the left hand side it's like a little toilet shari block and the bin section. So would yeah. it be there? It'll be there. Yeah, so we, we've come through 197 then. I think 199 was the first bridge we walked under. And there are the moorings after that here yeah, no. There's the moorings next to us. Heron alert, right on the bridge. Oh yeah, look at that. Are you getting that? Yeah. Hang on. Don't fly. Oh. See it? Heron. Literally, it's just literally just jumped off the side and flown away. Steve has just been telling me he's had a coffee with CBD oil in it. Yeah, it's a true story. He's supposed to be relaxed. CBD Whoa. oil in coffee, whatever next. <laughs> Don't fall off the back of the boat. And it was from a coffee barge, wasn't it? Yeah, just, barge, just jumped yeah. it now. You, you can get one too. Excellent. Coffee barge dealing in um, CBD oil. <laughs> whatever next. It's a Dutch bloke. <laughs> it's a Dutch bloke. <laughs> It's got a franchise somewhere in Amsterdam. <laughs> uh, Captain, Captain 2, calm down. Going out, love. Yeah, you are going out. Oh my god. That's when I started, I mean, I felt so good, but then I was like, wow. It's a busy old moon, though, isn't it? It's like boats everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it'll be a popular marina. It's a bit bigger, like at the weekends or something. Yeah, there's probably more There's more hire boats around at the weekends. Mind you, no, there's more hire boats around all the time. You get a lot of day boats. Mm. I quite fancy doing a day, doing a, you know, hiring a day boat and just doing like four or five hours up and down on the canal. That'd be great. Yeah. Very tango, Vimto and a bottle of coke. Tango whiskey, alpha, tango. <laughs> Harsh, but fair. <laughs> That's better. We've got the crew working hard. I can tell you a story about ten pegs. I'm very good with ten pegs. I may have thrown one or two strops in my life with ten pegs. Yeah, we shall recall that in a minute. That's what I like to see, men working hard. Well, one, I'm supervising. Yeah, how many men does it take for the yeah. Wait. We're moored. Chairs out. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Here's to Captain and Captain S. Open windows, but they should be fine because they're, no, they're under the, they're under the um, e rain clouds have passed now, and it's absolutely beautiful out here. What a great little spot. Our guests have gone. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. It really helps us.